Good morning, welcome back to GP Outdoors. It's been about five days, and as you can see behind me, we've had no more snow. In fact, according to neighbor Guy, the temperatures every day have hovered around zero degrees or freezing for us, a little bit positive, a little bit negative, and it's rained pretty much every day since I left. As you know, while I was up here on the last adventure, I used the windshield wipers a lot until this happened. So hey, if you've got a few minutes, stick around. I'm gonna show you what the problem is and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to fix it. Cheers. When it's operating correctly, you folks know that the wiper will always sit at zero degrees or horizontally level. While it's doing its job, at any point during its wipe, if you shut it off, it will always return back to its default zero degree position. So you can see here, there's no resistance on this wiper and of course it keeps hitting the side of my hood. The first step is we need to remove this cap or get it out of the way. So in order to remove the cap, if you try to pull it directly straight out, it won't come because it's hinged around this rivet here at the end of the wiper arm. So to remove it, we wanna pull it outward, but as we pull it outward, we also wanna rotate this cap to the right. That way it'll allow the hinge to spin. And here's our problem. The nut here on the end of the stem coming from the wiper motor has come loose, which allows the wiper to float freely instead of the way it's supposed to work. All you're gonna need is a 10 millimeter wrench. First step, just position your wiper back at zero degrees, because remember the motor will always return back to zero degrees on its own. So we know that the stem coming out of the motor should be in the right position. She's flush again and we're just gonna tighten this nut up. You may notice that the spring, of course, causes the hinge on the wiper to angle. So you just wanna apply a little bit of pressure so you can straighten out this hinge so it's 90 degrees or perpendicular to the stem and then tighten your nut after that. So I firmed up the nut and now we just snap that cap back closed. Hold that video for just a second. We're into the what we call the winter blues up here. That's long periods of gray, overcast, miserable skies, a lot of rain and nasty weather, and very little sun. But I want to try to help you through it this winter. As some of you may have noticed recently on the videos, I've been wearing a different winter toque this year. It is super comfortable and super warm. It's GP branded, and I wanna give one of them away to one of you today. The outer layer is a nice warm acrylic. It's super soft and thick. And the inside, take a look at this. That's one beautiful, soft inner lining. And best of all, it's embroidered with the GP Outdoors logo, and the embroidery is done by my daughter. She's doing all of the logos on my merch now. If you wanna be eligible to win, a GP Outdoors branded winter toque? Just leave a comment below this video. Somewhere in your comment, write the words GP Outdoors. And in 48 hours, I'll use a random comment selector to pick a winner. I'm going to reply to your winning comment by asking you to email me at the address you see below on the screen. No other means. As you guys are aware, there's a lot of scammers out on YouTube now. If anybody pretends to be me or is impersonating me and tries to ask you to WhatsApp them or text them at a different number, it's not me. If it's not this email address below, it's not me. You have to be a resident of Canada or the continental USA and the rest of the contest details will be found in the description of this video. Good luck to all of you. Now let's get back to the tractor and finish up that repair. That's a wrap. I didn't use any Loctite on it. I have tightened it down. If it does come loose again in the future, I'll probably put a little dab of blue Loctite on it and firm it up the second time, because that'll probably hold it well. Remember, don't use the red Loctite. You'll never get it off. Okay, 
I'm rain ready so I can head back out. Wanted to send a shout out to good old Jimmy at Larkin Equipment. He's my favorite mechanic there. I always give him a shout just in case I'm touching something for the first time. And he always, always finds the time to help me out. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Have a great week with your families. Please be kind to each other. And I'll see you again right here. I'm Gord Potter, and you've been watching GP Outdoors. Cheers. Step five, grab a Sharpie and get yourself a piece of cardboard bigger than the grill. You're gonna need it to make a template.